Good evening, everyone. It's great to see you all. We decided to create the ethical leadership curriculum to give you guys a chance to really think deeply about who are you, what change do you want to make in the world? Um, and I'm very, very excited to see what you have to present. On the 26th of October, we hosted our final ethical leadership presentations. The K. Mason Foundation Ethical Leadership Campaign is aimed at empowering young minds to foster ethical leadership qualities that will shape a better future for our communities and the environment. This year's theme was Ethical Leaders Love in Action. And our scholars were invited to submit their assignments based on identifying a community or environmental need and then submitting a plan as to how to implement and execute it in their community. We were exceptionally blessed to secure the CEO of Activate Leadership, Sipilele Chiwa, as our Chief Adjudicator for the finals. And thanks also needs to go to our amazing leadership mentors who helped our top six to prepare for the finals. Our junior finalists that presented were Havana van der Vat, Kian Davis, and then finally, Jada Lee Cook. Our top three seniors presenting were Amira Alexander, Kaylin Abdul, and then finally, Inam Beja. I must say the heartstrings in all of your presentations were, were, were pulled for me. And uh, yeah, congratulations. We would like to congratulate Havana, who won in the junior section for her Pencils of Promise project. Pencils of Promise will provide additional support by providing stationary packs for grade savings at the beginning of the year. Kaylin Abdul won our senior category for her Bishop Lavers Community Outreach Soup Kitchen. They say that the best people to solve a problem are the ones affected by the problem. This is why I want to attempt to elevate poverty in my community by opening up a soup kitchen and providing a nutritious meal to the people in my community as well as meals to kids after school and sanitary pads for young girls in my community. We are so proud of our winners and each of them will be awarded 5,000 Rand to start their project. And they will need to use other KMS and Foundation scholars to help with the activation and implementation of this project, which needs to be officially opened and started in March 2024. We would like to thank our partners, the Desmond and Leah Tutu Legacy Foundation and the Mo Ibrahim Foundation, 